In World War I, more than 4,000 indigenous soldiers served in uniform, with their skills in hunting making them particularly good at being snipers. One of these soldiers, Henry Norwest, was known for being one of the best snipers of his time. Norwest was awarded a medal and bar after his years of service. World War II had only 3,000 First Nations individuals serving. However, an unknown number of Inuit and Métis people also served alongside them. Willard Bulduck and Huron Brandt both joined the military from Ontario. Bulduck to the Air Force and Brandt to the Army were both recognized as having incredible aim. Charles Checker Tompkins, an incredible codebreaker from Alberta, helped to limit the amount of radio interception, with his knowledge in the more theoretical parts of codebreaking proving necessary for the war effort. Five years later, Indigenous participation in the Korean War consisted of many soldiers who also fought in World War II. George Edward Jameson was one of these soldiers who fought in both wars and even remained in the Navy afterwards. Tommy Prince fought in the Korean War as part of the Princess Patricia's Canadian Light Infantry, a platoon that stole machine guns from enemy camps. Unfortunately, the number of Indigenous veterans that have been formally recognized for their service is much smaller than the number of the ones that haven't. Canada expropriated hundreds of thousands of acres of reserve lands during this period, and Indigenous veterans were often denied full veteran benefits and support programs. Indigenous veterans were not allowed to honor their fallen comrades with a toast or lay wreaths in their honor until 1951. Now it is up to us to ensure that their stories get passed down and their service is properly acknowledged.